Now to breaking news overnight from Washington. Longtime Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell is in the hospital today. His condition is unknown. Nicole Killian on Capitol Hill is following this story. Nicole, good morning to you. What happened here? Well, good morning to you, Gail. A leader, Mitch McConnell, was taken to a D.C. hospital last night after suffering from a fall. A spokesperson tells CBS News he tripped at a local hotel during a private dinner. He has been admitted to the hospital where he is receiving treatment. It remains unclear what his injuries are at this point or how severe. This is not the first time the 81-year-old senator has been hospitalized after a serious fall. Back in 2019, McConnell took a spill at his Louisville home. He suffered a fractured shoulder that required weeks of recovery and physical therapy. He had a triple heart bypass surgery back in 2003. He's also a childhood polio survivor. McConnell is one of several senators who have been hospitalized in recent weeks, including Senators Feinstein, Fetterman, and Casey. McConnell is in his seventh term, and this year he became the longest-serving party leader in Senate history. Boy, Nicole, as the Senator McConnell's been through a lot, we certainly wish him a speedy recovery for him. We're also learning about this. There's a major data breach we're hearing in Washington that allegedly is impacting members of Congress, that senators and members of the House of Representatives have been told that their personal information was potentially exposed after their health care system was targeted. What can you tell us about that? Anything? Well, that's right. You know, congressional leaders are demanding answers about this hack. A notice was sent to lawmakers from the chief administrative officer, which said the cyber attack occurred on a health insurance portal called DC Health Link. The official said account information for hundreds of House and Senate staff were stolen. According to the FBI, Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries say the FBI told them that the information was purchased on the dark web and may include names of family, social security, numbers and home addresses. An investigation is now underway. Gail? Okay, hope they figure that out. Thank you, Nicole.